Yeah, that's right. We're wrapping the fog lights again on the Subaru this time around. So GTR, you know, Subaru. What's going on, everyone? Hope you guys are having a great day. In today's video, we're actually going to be wrapping the fog lights on the WRX. Because um, the main reason why I'd like to redo this video is I still have the products laying around. And uh, I only had the GTI with yellow fogs for like maybe two seconds. So... That's why we're redoing it. That's why you're kind of seeing like a, a repeat in videos. But I had all the stuff laying around, so I might as well use it, right? So right behind me, you can see here is my 2020 Subaru WRX. And I already did one side, so I'll show you guys that in a minute. I already, already did one side and it's just so I could get the hang of it. Just so I know what I'm doing because <laughs> it's already taken an hour for this side because this is my first time really figuring it out so this time i'm going to take you guys through on how i do the passenger side hopefully the passenger side is a little bit easier which you probably won't but you know you never know so here's everything that i'm going to use i got the vinyl i used on the gti this time i actually found some sort of razor blade slash box cutter this is going to come in handy uh, some scissors to cut out the vinyl, squeegee, as we all know and love, you know, squeegee, heat gun, some glass cleaner, microfiber, and some soapy water to help kind of move and adjust the vinyl. So that's what we're going to be using on that fog light right over there. And I'm basically going to set you guys up on a tripod. I'll kind of explain how I go about doing this. So, so here's how uh, we're going to do this. We're going to clean it. Then we're going to cut, cut the vinyl. And then after that, we're going to use some soapy water. And then after that, so after we cut the vinyl, we're, we are going to put some soapy water on it. And then after we put soapy water on it, we are going to lay the vinyl down. And then after we lay the vinyl down, we're going to use our squeegee and we're going to shape it. And once we shape it and it's in the right spot, that will, we will cut it out. So it's very, um, very straightforward. Um, I'm just gonna kind of talk as I go slash time lapse. So here we go. To so like this kind of stage, then you can um, make sure that there's no contaminants in the bulb and like up here on the bezels as well. Just so you know that the area you're working on is clean. And now you can start to actually cut the vinyl. Um, I would be cutting it in a circle, but I don't really want to do that. So we're making a square. today's video because I want to tell you guys that if you're not subscribed please subscribe already uh, really help us out a bunch and go ahead and hit the like button as well while you're down there and my other thing is uh, I got merch down below as well so if you want to check that out uh, still working on some new designs uh, mainly focusing towards the WRX since it's kind of just a big huge change we went from Volkswagen GTI to WRX so um, really appreciate you guys checking out the merch link down below and 
let's get on with the video. All right, so at this stage, you can kind of see I was using the squeegee to just kind of mold everything in. I like to use the squeegee to get inside the actual divots and the cracks and everything. So once you get uh, that kind of going, uh, then you use a little bit more heat and then you jump into your razor blade to just get around the edges. So that's what I like to do just to um, make sure everything is, is sitting on there. And obviously you don't want to cut, cut too much or else you're going to uh, have a dip overlay it a little bit but um yeah so just uh, make make sure that everything is all tucked all tucked away for the night and then once that's all good then you can move on to cutting another thing is you want to be kind of careful with the heat gun because you don't want to get the vinyl too hot or else it will start burning the vinyl and then obviously you don't want burnt vinyl not only does it smell bad but uh just ruined the look of it so I'm gonna be honest it looks way more yellow in person like way more these just look like I just put normal uh, normal just brown headlights in yeah that let's just go with that <laughs> but I mean like it looks good but I to be honest I feel like I could have done a way better job or I if um, I knew how to remove these housings. I just wanted to just slap some vinyl on there and see how it goes. That's really what I was trying to go for in this video. <laughs> but it um, it's a ten footer. Yeah, it's a it's a, it's a ten foot ten footer for sure. Uh, I think I'm gonna end the video there, guys. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Also, give me some good mod ideas. Of course, um, like I said last video with the WRX, big wang exhaust wheels that whole deal but yeah let me know let me know what you guys want me to do and i'll give it some thought look it over and let me guys and let me know what you guys think about these fogs because if i should just leave it or get an actual kit so with all that being said hope you guys have a great day i want to see you guys next time peace out there's two videos popping up right here and i'll see you next time